In this lecture, we will see how we can do the tagging of a room with an area. So for that, what you have to do is first of all, you have to make a selection of the tag. Uh, keep this thing in mind is that you don't need to select the room. You have to select the tag only. And if you do, uh, after that, what you can do is you can just simply go to this uh, drop down button. Okay. And here you will get these three options as you can see. So right now you can see that we have only room tag, but what if, if you just simply go ahead and click on room tag with area in that case, you will get the area as well. And, as, and, and here you can see that this is the area of the room. Okay, so like that, you can just simply go to each and every tag and then you have to select that. And from here, you can just simply go ahead. You have to click on this one. And after that, you can just go ahead and tag area with the room or, or if you want, you can do the same thing with the volume as well. You can see that this is not computed. So don't, no, no problem with that. So generally we just put area. So like that, you can just simply do all, all, all of these things because we are at the for ground floor. And if you do the same thing in first floor, let me go to the first floor. So you can see that this is the first floor and uh, you can see that this is the area. And again, I will just simply go ahead on this one and then I will click on this one tag room with area. Now you, you might be thinking that why this volume is not getting computed. Because if you notice here in this ground floor level, you can see clearly see that we uh, we don't have any kind of height because if you want to calculate this for uh, the first floor in that case only you will get this because right now we are at the ground floor and we haven't give any kind of elevation from the bottom. So how you're supposed to get the volume. So that's uh, exactly the problem and that's why it is not being able to calculate the volume. So it can only calculate the area. So you can just simply click on this one and after that you can just simply click on that. Uh, so this is the one way of doing that. But if you want to save your time in that case, you won't need, you don't need to do these kinds of a thing and you have to, you don't need to waste your lot of time. So what you can do is let me just simply, uh, press control C to let's okay. So now what I will do is I will just simply go ahead and select this one, this tag only. And then after that, I will just simply type essay from my keyboard to say select all and it will select all of these tags. And now after that, I can just simply go to this top down button and here I will just simply click on room tag with area. And in one go, you can just simply tag all of your rooms in, uh, without, uh, without doing that individually. Okay. So then now we have next issue is uh, you can see the area is not uh, that uh, accurate. You can see that this is uh, almost round off and we don't see any kind of decimal places behind these numbers. But if you want to do that, uh, you might already know how to do that thing. In that case, you have to go to UN. Okay. You have to ch just change, simply change the unit uh, for that. You just simply need to click on UN. Just simply type UN from your keyboard and after that you have to take your mouse cursor to this region and you can clearly see that we don't see any kind of round off uh, uh, until rounding. You can see that this is up to zero decimal places. So you can just simply click on that and after that you can make this one two or three depending on your project requirement. But as of now, I will simply go ahead with two decimal places and then I will just simply click on OK and then I will just simply click on OK and you will see the exact area of this region up to two decimal places. Also, if you don't want to see these area uh, uh, area in meter square, in that case, what you can do is you, uh, you can again simply go to UN. And from here, actually, you can just simply click on this one. And from here, you can change this to square feet, square inches or square meters as well. OK, so let me just simply click on cancel. So this is the end of this lecture.